What is up guys? This is Heartless Gamer here coming with you to another Call of Duty Zombies video. Today we're going to be doing step 2, the clock step of the Voyage of the Spare Easter Egg on Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Um, before I forget, if you can go ahead and drop a like and subscribe, that would be greatly appreciated. And we will get started here with step 2. So, this first step, what you got to do is... You gotta look for the clocks. Uh, but before you do that, if you go back in my previous video, you will know that you have to start by doing the uh, the ritual, getting all the four of the pack of punches. Then you can start this step. Um, this step's fairly easy once you get the hang of it. It did take a couple times, a couple times once uh, if, if you don't know what you're doing. But it's gonna be very simple. I, I promise you that. Um, so you can see there's four look. Yeah, there's six locations, but four around the map. Um, so as you saw there. You find the triangle, and then you go and look at the clock. I will have the where exactly everything is for location-wise in the description below. Um, as far as like you know, where is this next to that? You know, the clock in reference to the symbol where that, those all would be. Um, but all the times are going to be different. They're going to be randomized from my game. Is going to be different from your game. So there's no sense of really me reading them off to you. I can just tell you that the smaller hand is the hour hand, the bigger hand is the minute hand. Just so if you really don't know those. Those, uh, those types of clocks, I, I don't know why you wouldn't, but hey, I'm not going to judge you. Um, but yeah, so there's going to be four different uh, symbols. They're all triangles. you got the upward triangle. Um, you also got an upward triangle to slash, a downward triangle, and a downward triangle to slash. Um, the six clock locations are going to be uh, the mail room, the captain's bridge, the grand staircase, the first class lounge, gallery in the kitchen area and third class this is third class right now where we are at um i do show four of the locations um there are six like i said i will put them in the description for you guys so you can read them um due to me not showing them here but i will do give you guys that benefit of the doubt um actually this is one of them i do show one that i didn't have here but this is where it would be this one is i believe first class lounge um but yeah, the other one on the upper grand staircase, it's gonna be the sim the clock's in the middle of the the uh, the staircase, and then you got the uh, on the the walls the symbol above the door. All right, so for this part, this is gonna be the minute hands and the bridge. You will see the symbol. You match the symbol up with the the um, minute hands that you guys got, um, and you'll see they correspond with each other. Um, you know the minute versus. The uh, symbol, all the symbols on these val these dials will be there for you guys to get. Um, you have to aim at the one that you want to interact with. You can hold X to interact with them. You can hear the little like dinging sound um, when you when you know you did. So um, up here, what you're going to have, you're going to have the the slash triangles. The left one is going to be the upper slash triangle. Um, so that would be the upward triangle with a slash through it, and then the right one's gonna be the downward triangle or the flip upside down triangle. Didn't I warn that you would before? Be the right one on huh? the deck here. Too late now, um, fucker. So as you can see, you can see the minute hand where the minute hand is. Um, that kind of gives you a reference if you maybe like you think you messed up or whatever. You can only see what the minute hand is versus where the hour hand is. It uh, it, it just kind of shows you where everything is. You won't, you won't know if you've done it correctly until you do all four. Um, you'll hear like a sound, and you'll, you'll hear that towards the end when we get to there. Um, so the next part is going to be in the engine room. So for this one, you're going to have the bottom is going to be the regular triangle, the upward triangle. And then the top one's going to be the upside down triangle. Um, so as you can see here, I'll kind of like aim. It's kind of like hard at first when you don't know what you're doing but you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly in a couple games you'll you completely get it. it's pretty easy um but yeah so once you see here i'll put the, these in and you'll hear like a, a, like a little sound the the book kind of shakes a little and you will know you've done it correctly when you see there i couldn't move it anymore um but yeah that's pretty much it for this step uh so if you guys go ahead and drop a like and subscribe that'd be really appreciated i will have the link for the next video in the description below as long with the previous description too so uh tell me what you think and um we'll see you guys next time i'm out of here bye